Here's the new style kit. It's the same part number, it just has the number two at the end. It's a square shape instead of a half round shape. This one's a little bit different. Everything over here is about the same, but this and this. Earlier I showed you that book. This one has a computer screen. It's not a touch screen. You have to use these buttons, but it shows you how to do it one step at a time. Hit play, cleaving, connector termination. There's a little pouch in here where it can stay and you can watch the video and the video just loops. The other benefit, this thing does not have as many swappable parts. This is if you're doing LCs and then there, now you're on STs or SCs. You don't have to unscrew a piece. It just ships for whatever you need. Also this piece flips over. This is for a jacketed cable and this one will do 900 or 250. Turn this on, open it up, get a termination. We don't need this piece. Save this one in the shallow bin. Now these purple connectors, they have a dot on the bottom. This one has one, some have two, some have three. These dots indicate to this tool what kind of connector is in here. So when you put it in, it sits right on here and it knows what kind of connection is in here. So this screen tells you what to do next. It knows you have an LC. All right, this is the indicator I need to clean it. This is telling me how to clean it. Put that in, close the lid, and it's telling you the next step. Put on the boot, put on the clip, cleave it, and push it in. And this just loops. So you can set it here and go through your steps. We don't want this. Push this in, open that up, set that aside. The other piece we need is in this canister. We want 900. Also, let's make sure this is clean. We'll take a rag and wipe down both of these skids. Squeeze this, close it, wiggle it a little bit, make sure it's all the way down. We've done blue. Our next one in the order is orange. So this one I'm not going to measure. Like I said, after a while you can eyeball it and it's always okay to do too much. And if you do too little it won't work. So you can just try again. That should be about right. This one you can clearly see the Acrylite coating. Some of it's been rubbed off, some of it's not. So now we take the small hole and make sure you're not cutting it. Make sure it's lined up in the hole. Squeeze it, run it through. Maybe one time with your fingers, maybe not. It's up to you. One or two pumps is all it takes, not much. One or two wipes. Grab the cleaver. Now the way this works, squeeze both of these. And what that's doing is these push on these brakes so that they get up, they're spring-loaded, and they'll get up out of your way. This goes all the way into the tool. And this part right here, that's a diamond tip blade because you can't cut fiber. So what this does is it pushes it down, and that diamond tip will nick it and these apply pressure to bend it and snap it. And it'll snap right where it's been nicked and it'll be a clean break. Squeeze them both, push this in carefully, all the way to the end. Got a little, little bit of tension on here now. Let go of the black, let go of the red. Squeeze the blue. Squeeze and hold the black. There we go. Don't let this touch anything. Don't let it get dirty. Be very careful. Take this right into the hole. Sometimes it's okay to twist your finger, twist your fingers a little bit to get it to roll and line up. While you're doing this, you can kind of see it lighting up. The laser is lighting up inside the fiber. Once that happens, squeeze this. This is saying there's something wrong with the connector. It says take it out, hit the, hit the red, spin it, push it back in, and now hit the blue. All right, once you get that done, you turn this crank. That's the same job as the other one. It bends that. And so now you open the door and this comes straight out. And you just continue the process on all 12. We're gonna put this cap back on here to protect it. Do the same process on all 12. You take your tape, carefully peel it apart so that you don't damage any fiber. We'll do the blue and the orange. The locking arms, you line them up. You can push these too far, so just be careful not to. And then push the boot on. There you go. It's done. Be sure and put everything back in your kit carefully. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, but this should get you started.